Somebody please cue that boy. Samurai Pizza Cats. Oh yeah! Who do you call when you want some pepperoni? Samurai Pizza Cats. Right on! They're stepping out crime and you know that ain't baloney. They're Speedy Serviche, he's the leader of the bunch. That's right! A heck of a fighter makes a heck of a lunch. Oh. And little polyester, who's never afraid of going in the battle with the bad a wild romantic rover. This cat gets down, down with a love hangover. <laughs> They're so bad, they've got more fur than any turtle ever had. <laughs> Stronger than old cheese. Stronger than dirt. Who's lower than low? It's a rotten yeah, yeah, shame. Yeah. He lives in little Tokyo. We've got a nasty bad bird and some nasty ninja crows. As soon as someone finds a script, we might begin the show. Sit right back, pick up your feet, and turn the sound up high. And if you want the full effect, go eat a pizza pie. <laughs> Lunchtime in Little Tokyo and business is booming, which of course makes the pizza cats very happy. One of them seems especially delirious with delight today. Here's your order, you beautiful person, you. We serve pizza any style, guaranteed to make you smile. What can we do for you? Guido, darling, if you're not too busy, could you make a delivery? Polly, have I told you how much I admire you? And I love your hair. Ooh. Um, thanks. Her friends watch amazed as Francine slaves away like a jolly lunatic. They've never seen her so courteous, so efficient. But most of all, they've never seen her so gosh darn happy. It was a pleasure cleaning up your little boy's mess. I've seen this sort of thing before. What is it? Rabies? Love. Huh? You know, the big L-U-V. I think there's a man in her life. That's worse than rabies. What a drag. Okay, Francine, tell us what you're so happy about. You look like the cat who ate the canary. So, spit it out, who's the guy? His name is Bucky. You know that tall, handsome deer with the great antlers? What? You're Our kidding! Kid. What are you seeing you? <laughs> Why do you want to spend time with a deer? They're so stupid, they get hypnotized by headlights. And they eat twigs. Talk about dumb. Why did I open my big mouth? Meanwhile, the big cheese puts the finishing touches on his latest evil scheme and his makeup. I know you want more exposure, but Disney's not looking to replace Minnie Mouse despite what your agent said. For one thing, you're a rat, not a mouse, and you're not a female. Wait till they see me. Ta-da! I can't look. It's degrading for a crook to see his boss wearing eyeliner. Jerry. No! Come on, take a peek, Jerry. Yoo-hoo! I'm here. Please, here. Ah! <laughs> you're just jealous of my bone structure. Since the Big Cheese and Geriatric are a little preoccupied, we'll have to find out on our own what sort of sinister plot the Rotten Rat and his heinous henchmen are cooking up. For at this moment, far below Little Tokyo, in the very bowels of the sewer system. Oh, can we say that on television? Well, in any event, suffice it to say that the little stinkers are up to no good. Well, here goes. Snap, crackle, fizz, pop. I just love sapping stuff with electricity. I haven't had this much fun since high school chemistry. <laughs> Our heroes watch in alarm as the love-struck Francine proves once and for all she's definitely not a liberated female. A woman's nothing without a man. Yes, well, the views expressed by our characters are not necessarily those of the management. The next day finds Francine eagerly anticipating her first date. <laughs> I enjoy being a girl. Sheesh, how many cups of coffee did she have this morning? She's really hung up on this Bucky character. Come on, guys. We gotta let this roadshow bullwinkle break up our team. No! And suddenly, he appears. Psst, he appears. Oh, there, there he is. Dreamboat. <gasps> Must be him. That noble head, those soft eyes. <gasps> Bucky! Oh, enough. This is getting too sappy. Before the poor girl makes a complete fool of herself, let's scut away to City Hall, where we find Big Al Dente. Well, frankly, uh, looking pretty foolish himself. Well, that's the last time I eat blowfish. Whoop! 
Oh, whoopsie daisy. Well, it's no big deal. Uh, ow. Oh, ow. Ouch. Well, yeah, okay, stay calm. We are in complete control here. No need to hit the panic button. <laughs> We know what that means, don't we? He set off the alarm bells our heroes wear around their necks. You guys saw it, didn't you? It was an accident. Huh? Oh, no, come on! Is this, this rotten right timing or what? I have a sneaking suspicion that our heroes aren't going to be too happy when they find out that this was a boo-boo. Come on! Sometimes I hate my life. <gasps> Stood up on the first date. How do you like that? The Pizza Cats take the news well. What? You flea-bitten bulldog! I was on my dream date! How could you push it by accident? I kind of tumbled into it. <laughs> if I hurry, maybe I can get back before Bucky decides I'm a complete flake and goes off to her battlers with someone else. Blast me off, Polly! Which button do I hit? Try the one that says blast off! Meanwhile, maybe we can finally learn about the Big Cheese's latest wicked scheme. People are dying to know about your latest wicked scheme. Care to comment? Happy to, Oprah. I hate the sexual role models we all have to play, so I plan to turn them upside down. We're all on pins and needles. Do tell us about it. I've created a device that will turn boys into girls and girls into boys. Let's see what that does for the Equal Rights Amendment. That's enough, Oprah. Cut to commercial. With pleasure. Bucky! Bucky, where huh? are you? Uh, this way, I'm over here. Uh, I guess that's uh, what it feels like when two hearts collide. Are you hurt, dear Bucky? Uh, felt great. Uh, what could this terrible trembling be? Could it be the beating of two young hearts in love? No, I think somebody must have got a bad burrito. But neither love nor food is responsible for the commotion. It looks like the writers of this show aren't the only ones who occasionally lay an egg. Hey, you're drooling on my shirt, honey. Drooling? How embarrassing! I don't know what came over me. Maybe they were right. Maybe I do have rabies and I'm starting to... No, no, this must be what love feels like. Yeah, it's a kick in the head, huh? Maybe if we can take care of the big cheese right now, we can skip the boring fight scene we always have to do. But, Speedy, if we finish him now, the show will be too short. So, then we'll go home early. What's so bad about that? We still get paid the same. <laughs> it's just this sort of lazy thinking that's making little Tokyo a second-rate economic power. But fear not, there will be no half days today because our heroes are going to need everything they've got to defeat the Big Cheese's latest and wickedest scheme yet. Latest and wickedest scheme? When are you gonna quit being so vague and tell them what it is? I was getting to that. These are gender bender butterflies. They look harmless enough, but when they land on an unsuspecting victim, strange behavioral changes take place. Come on, doll, let's have a little fun. What uh, do you say? Uh, that does it! Get your hooks off of me, you big ox! Huh? Oh, rejection! I can't stand rejection! I got fresh halibut here, fresh grouper, fresh flounder, not to mention... Huh? The most adorable little sardines you ever did see. You're the cream in my kibble, baby. I'm crazy about you. <laughs> huh? You put the wag in my tail, you hot dog, you. Mitzi, you're such an animal. Unaware of this strange sexual revolution, Francine and Bucky stroll through the Little Tokyo Galleria. I don't believe in relationships between different species. Yeah, they never work out. Huh? What do they know, honey? Don't listen. Animals should stick to their own kind. Francine, come on, cheer up. I won't even let my daughter see dogs of a different breed. Honey. Huh? You don't believe that bunk, do you? Just let me powder my nose. Sure. <laughs> it can't be wrong for me to love someone like Bucky. He's such a dear. What is that thing? Looks like a giant football. Well, if that's a football, I hate to see the size of the linebackers. Okay, X-ray specs, on. These things cost me 75 cents and three cereal box tops, so they better work. Ah. Bird, I should have known. 
Pull back your neck when all I can see is your big ugly face. That's better. Now get moving. We don't have all day, you know. Right. Time to drive this football down the field. Hey, this guy's going for a touchdown and nobody's touching him. We gotta get some defense out there. Do you want man-to-man -man or zone defense? I vote for a zone. Enough color commentary, you guys. Let's get going. My lord, it's a fiasco, a disaster. They must be nuts not to play him man-to-man. Back at the mall, our young lovers have finished buying CDs and playing video games and are sitting down to eat some frozen yogurt. But I don't mean to make them sound superficial. This looks like a nuclear reactor. Hope it tastes better than one. What a funny thing to say. Hmm? <gasps> Why is the alarm going off? Is your yogurt having a meltdown? <laughs> hey, I'm sorry. I'm as concerned about nuclear power as the next guy. Every time we're about to get close, this bell goes off. Maybe it's trying to tell me something. What is it, Francine? Are you okay? No, hmm? I'm not. Is it something I said? Go on, Bug, get out of here. I suddenly have the feeling that all my life I've been suppressing my most creative urges. Suppressing your what? I think I'll start taking watercolor classes somewhere. Yes! Ciao! Hey, what about the bill? Huh? For the first time, she notices the change in her fellow citizens. I still want to know who's going to pay the bill. Ah! Read it! supportive today, are we? Listen, you dumb skulls. Okay, I'm here. Get out of the way. Yes, Buona. Boy, are we glad to see you. What are you waiting for? Places, everybody. Yeah! yeah. Get away! Geronimo! Samurai Pizza Cats. They make great pizza, but that ain't all. Samurai Pizza Cats. They're ready to fight. When you need them, just call. They know how to stop crime. Just do what they say. If you don't want a bad time, stay out of their way. <laughs> oh, I love those cats. Samurai pizza cats. The heroes who always wear fur. <laughs> uh... <laughs> looking you're on the right track that rat's gonna pay for what he's done but the giant easter egg or football or whatever appears unstoppable this is one egg that can't be beaten an egg that can't be beaten not bad that's a funny line oh ho, ho, ho. Hmm? what a scream that line's about as funny as hoof and mouth disease who writes your material bad bird I wrote that one myself. Oops. Well, if I were you, I'd run and hide turkey legs, because we can't make an omelet without breaking some eggs. Bet you're starting to feel queasy, because you know this fight will be totally easy. Okay, enough with the rhyming couplets. Let's pop that little creep. Pizza Cats! <laughs> <laughs> what a hopeless bunch! Hey, all this talk of breakfast has made me hungry. I'm in the mood for some pussycat pancakes. How about you guys? Watch out! It's tipping this way! Run! <laughs> look back! Is it gaining on us? You look! I'm busy right now! Keep running! Who cares if it's gaining on us? Hey, I just like to know, that's all! <gasps> We're gonna need some help! Even the most fearless heroes have someone they can call on when things get rough. Luke Skywalker had Obi-Wan Kenobi. John Wayne had the U.S. Cavalry. Ozzy had Harriet. When things are going bad for the Samurai Pizza Cats, they call on the Supreme Catatonic. Present 
Captain, but then Zogoony Birds, that ferocious fleet of flying fighting machines, will they be in time to save our heroes? Now, as if one spectacular costume change per episode weren't enough, the Pizza Cats undergo a whole new fashion makeover. Pointy steel boots to wreak havoc on an enemy's shins, titanium shoulder pads to improve posture, and of course, the vibro action chest plate for that I just got out of the gym and aren't I buff look. Put it all together and you have the Autopilot Propulsion Pod Collection. And if you order before midnight tonight, we'll throw in absolutely free this handy-dandy pair of wings with self-contained power pack. Don't wait, call today! This cartoon's one long commercial. I just hate that. Pitch your stupid products on your own time. I get it. A communist, huh? You stinking no good. Hmm? Would anyone happen to have a nail file on them? Not now. We're on the air. Uh-oh, looks like that gender bender butterfly has made Speedy a little lightheaded for the moment. But fortunately, the Supreme Catatonic is a real man's man. Well, actually, it's a robot, but it's a real man's robot, and it knows when to take charge of the situation. Come on, he's trying to tell us something. Crosses to bear. Let's see what this poor man's Tony the Tiger's made of. Yay! Exposed as a worm, I really am. Time to evolve. What the heck's that? Good news, I didn't break a nail after all. Oh. I feel like a man. Don't expect miracles. In the meantime, watch out behind you! Where? Not since the days of Gorgo and Godzilla have we seen such a potent pair of opponents. With the possible exception of the first Ali Frazier fight. Hey, that ain't fair! I don't remember anyone using pixie dust in the Ali Frazier fight. That does it! I'm gonna have to take care of this myself! I'll hit him with everything but the kitchen sink! Let's see how he likes this! What you doing? Cleaning house? I admire how you keep this place so neat. Hey, don't go overboard. Ow! This isn't good at all for my self-esteem. It's enough to make a girl blow her top. Meanwhile, having pixie dusted our heroes, Bad Bird is moving in for the kill. Huh? What's the big idea? Who's throwing stuff? Yuck! That's that babe with the nuclear hairdo! Oh. And when Speedy says that, we know what it means, don't we? It means that it's... Party! Party! What overacting. And he gets away with it. It's called star power, baby! Yeah! <laughs> At last, peace is restored and love is free to bloom again. Bucky, you've recovered! <laughs> <laughs> But cheese isn't so happy. Control yourself just this one. No. And so little Tokyo's back to normal once again, thanks to the efforts of the Samurai Pizza Cats. And thanks to one in particular, the bold and beautiful Francine. Come on, thanks to who? Thanks to me. Don't let it go to your head, kid. Your agent forced us to put that line in. Ladies and gentlemen, the Samurai Pizza Cat Fan Club Oath. The pizza cats are samurai. And I'd like to note... Their antics take your breath away. Like fur balls in your throat. We kittens are a special breed. We never call retreat. Whenever Big Cheese knocks us down... We land upon our feet. 
So hail to thee, O oh Pizza Cat. Please ring your little bell. Although you may be pen and ink, we know you'll fight like Pizza Cat! Hope you like the show, it's the best that we could do. Am I right, it's a guess. If you could do better, then we'd leave it up to you. Just a reminder, you might like to know, the cats will be back for another big show. <laughs> oh, gosh. Thank <laughs> you.